history made when Liz Schuler was elected president of the AFL-CIO just last Friday, the country's largest labor union federation, making her the first woman to hold that position. And you know what? It is especially <laughs> fitting that she is on today's show because it's actually Women's Equality Day, mm -hmm. and one of her goals is to inspire other women to become decision makers in the labor movement. So joining us now is President Liz Schuler. Welcome to GMA. Thanks for being with us. Congratulations. Tell me how it feels to be the first. I am humbled. I'm honored. I stand on the shoulders of so many women who have come before me, and I'm standing alongside a lot of women who have been fighting for change in their workplaces and uh, speaking out because women have borne the brunt of this pandemic. Right. And uh, a lot of women are disproportionately uh, represented in frontline essential work in our hospitals and in our grocery stores and transportation. So I feel honored to represent their voices because unions actually are fighting for things like equal pay and a voice on the job and making sure that uh, women and all working people actually have a fair shot at work. What was that chat like with President Biden called you to congratulate you and you feel pretty good that you're going to have a good working relationship and happen to have a uh, have an open line to the White House when you need it. Oh, absolutely. Uh, President Biden and Vice President Harris have been the most pro union administration in our country's history and they continue to fight for working people with this big investment that we're now talking about in Congress, uh, trying to rebuild our nation's infrastructure, create good jobs for working people, because as we know, the economy really isn't working for most working people. As we've seen inequality, you know, the, the difference between a, a few that have a lot and the rest of us. Uh, so we need to work together to create those good jobs that everyone wants to prosper in our country. Creating jobs, of course, uh, right up there on the list, uh, your to-do list, which I'm sur sure is quite large. Do you have anything specifically you really want to make sure you accomplish? And, and what are some of your biggest challenges? Well, as I mentioned, we are seeing the economy um, broken for most working people. You know, uh, it's no longer that you can have just one job almost to make it and provide for your family in today's economy. One job should be enough for most working people, and we want to make sure that job is a good job and that uh, a modern labor movement is fighting alongside working people to make sure that happens. And so my job is sitting at the AFL-CIO, the federation of 12 and a half million working people, six and a half million women, I wanted to say, too, we're mm -hmm. the largest organization of working women in the country. Our job is to speak out and make sure that we're fighting for those policies uh, that create fairness and opportunity for working Americans. And we're uh, fighting for labor law reform to make sure people can come together in unions. We're fighting for infrastructure investments uh, to build back better, as the president likes to say, and making sure that we are our doors are wide open, that we are inclusive and we are embracing the diversity that uh, we're seeing in our workplace as it grows. And we want the labor movement to be nimble and dynamic and to be welcoming to all those workers who want a voice on the job. And Michelle, we've, we've talked often here on this show in particular about this she session, as it was called, how the uh, pandemic had just such a disproportionate impact on women. But here we are now uh, at this point, you know, trying to turn the page on a pandemic, but is there something going on right now in our labor market where you see an actual opportunity possibly for women? You're right, TJ. Women have borne the brunt of this pandemic. Uh, they've lost over a million more jobs than men and uh, often have been, as I said earlier, on the front lines, uh, making sure that we as citizens make it through this pandemic and that we have safe workplaces and uh, the ability to continue for the rest of us to go to work. Uh, so we do have an opportunity in that uh, the investments that we're talking about with the Build Back Better agenda is that infrastructure jobs certainly be jobs for women. And we are talking about a lot of construction opportunities with building roads and bridges and uh, broadband and, and certainly investing in our education system. Those jobs are absolutely jobs for women. And the labor movement has the ability to make those connections for women. We have workforce development and training uh, pathways, apprenticeship programs, so that those hard hats are unisex. <laughs> and we also want the care economy, those investments 
to not only solve the problem for mainly women, but men too, with regard to the cracks in our care infrastructure, but we wanna make sure the jobs for people who are caring for our children and caring for elderly and the differently able, those are good jobs too. So that's what we're working on as a labor movement to make sure we're investing in that care infrastructure so that everyone succeeds, but also to make sure that people working in those industries are making a decent living and able to provide for their families. I know a lot of people are cheering, uh, listening to you say what you just said there. <laughs> President Liz Schuler, congratulations again on being the first woman to run the AFL-CIO. Thank you. We appreciate it. You made your first national TV debut right here on GMA3. <laughs> so uh, it's our honor to have you on, and we hope you'll come back. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.